Welcome to episode 6 of Bottoms Up and in this episode we test our perfect start to the season by going away from home against Tottenham Hotspur in a North London derby. And we also have Pitt, Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League. This will be a test. So the last time you was with us was for the games against Manchester United and FC Michelin. 2-1 win against Man United, 5-2 win against Michelin. We've played a whole host of games away from camera since then. Brighton were the next ones up, a 1-0 win. Wasn't the most convincing performance from us, I must admit. It was probably a poorest performance of the season so far. We still dominated the game, but we were just quite wasteful in front of goal. Nwanieri getting the goal with Van Persie getting the assist. After that, we played Reading in the Carabao Cup fourth round. We did rotate quite a bit for this game, um, like we did in the previous round. Fiotta in goal, Durin and Calvo out wide, Diamande and Kayunda in the middle of defence, Havertz, Raphael, Giardini, Perez, Bruce, Sanganu was formed our starting eleven. Then we had the likes of Gonzalez, Calderon, Schmetz and Palau came on as substitutes. Durin with a goal, Havertz with two goals. Then we had Newcastle in the league and they were second at the time. They had drawn a game against Chelsea. I think it was when we beat Brighton, they played Chelsea and drew then. So they weren't like for like with us at this point, but we always knew this was going to be a tough game. And if we have a look at the stats, it was actually pretty comfortable. 11 shots on target compared to their two. XG of 1.9 compared to their 0.12. Dominating possession as well. And yeah, Mahara with a goal, assist from Pataka. Mahara with a second goal, assist from Nwanieri. And then Saka with the third goal with Mahara getting an assist. He loves getting involved in goals, Kenta Mahara. And this episode may well become the Kenta Mahara appreciation show. And we'll, we'll get into the reasons why shortly. But yeah, good win there. 3-0 against Newcastle. Helps cement my belief as well that we are just an amazingly good team. We then played by Leverkusen. Bakao Saka with a goal, Kenta Mahara with two goals. And Mahara's playing out here on the left at this point. Um, Sh- uh, Shaquille Van Persie picked up an injury and it's keeping him out of the team. But Saka with the first goal assisted by Kenta Mahara. Mahara with the next two goals assisted from Giardini and Saka. As you can see by the stats, we absolutely dominated the game again. Then we played Southampton in the league and this again was not the greatest performance from us. It was a 2-1 win. We, we dominated everything yet again. But we also had Bakao Saka out injured. So we had to switch Mahara over to the right, where he's obviously played many times when we had him at Crystal Palace. We brought Sangu on, on the left-hand side, kept Nwanieri up top with Havertz behind. Like I said, we, we dominated the game, but we just wasn't particularly clinical. 23 shots and only two goals is pretty poor, really. Then we had Reading in the league. We'd already beat them in the Carabao Cup for rotated teams. Always knew that we could beat them, and we did. At this point, um, Shaquille Van Persie was back from injury, and boy, it showed how much we missed him. But just look at these goals. And Van Persie with an assist from Mahara. Then a Mahara penalty. Then Alistair Bruce playing in the middle here in the Havertz role with an assist from Mahara. Then Mahara with an assist from Calvo. Even the Parisi goal that was assisted technically from, from Sangu. It came from a free kick from Mahara who passed it to Sangu. Sangu then put Parisi through and Parisi scored. So Mahara getting a 10 out of 10 in that game as well. And if we actually have a look at Kenta Mahara, I just want to show you his form. I mean, he's, he's five stars at the moment. All his attributes are going up. Even the, the lower ones, like marking of seven and long shots of 11, it's all going in the most wonderful direction possible. But if we have a look at his history, in terms of the league, 13 goal contributions from 10 appearances at 7.93. If we look at him overall down the bottom here, 14 appearances, 11 goals, 13 assists and 6 player of the match awards. That's 24 goal contributions in 14 games across all competitions and 8.38. The Champions League he absolutely loves, 4 goals and 7 assists from 4 games an average rating of 9.5. He's just insane. He really is. He's, he came in here as the replacement or the heir apparent to Bakayo Saka. 
And we're seeing how good he can be in the Bukayo Saka role at the moment. But if we look at his form, I mean, you've got 10 out of 10, 7.7, 10, 10, missed the game here, 7, 9.9. Then he had a couple of off days or off games. Then he's back to a 10 again. He's got a 9.8 over here. It's just mad. I mean, you, you look at this, the vein of form this man is in at the moment. We really hope that can continue because we are actually in a pretty difficult run of four or run of games at the moment. We've got PSG today, who admittedly they are 29th in the Champions League group stage. They've not been playing well, but they're PSG and we're away from home. And then we go to second place in the table, Tottenham, away from home at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. That's not going to be easy. That will be probably the biggest test we've had this season. But then after that, we've got fifth place Liverpool, third place Man City, Lazio are not going to be easy. Crystal Palace is at home. Man United is away in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. We've got a difficult, and this will be the run of games where we know exactly how good we are. Have we just been fairly much flat track bullies or are we actually destined to win the Premier League and the Champions League? Because I believe in this team, I really do. There's not really anything else to show you, so I think we'll move into the actual game. Like I say, we've got PSG. Oh, actually, there is something else to show you. I want to show you the league table. So if we have a look at the Premier League table, we are top. 11 games, 11 wins, 28 goal difference, 33 points. Tottenham, to be fair, on 30. That you know, that A win here for them, or in the next game for them, will put them level on points with us. Man City are third on 25. Newcastle has slipped away a bit now. They're on 25 as well. Liverpool as well on 25. This could all get a lot closer if we have a bad run of games coming up. Kenta Mahara is second in the goal scored in the Premier League with 7-1 behind Marcus Rashford, who, how old is Marcus? He's 36 years old and he's a top scorer in the Premier League. Still looks a really good player. Kenta Mahara is top of the average rating. Shaquille Van Persie is second. Van Persie is top of the assist charts with seven, which does surprise me, actually. Um, Kenta Mahara is third with six. Endrick has actually got into that as well. What is worth looking out for is either Pataka or Mahara getting a crossing on from the right-hand side for Van Persie to head in, coming in from the left-hand side, because that's been a good source of goals for us this season. In terms of the Champions League table, we are here in fourth at the moment. PSG are all the way down here in 29th. They're not even qualifying at the moment. They're not even getting to the knockout stage at the moment. They're in with the likes of the sandwich between Michelin and Derry City. You know, that they are not playing well, but they are PSG, so you have to give them that respect. So let's get into the game. We'll tick for the opposition instructions. We have, as I say, we've got Saka out injured. Diamand is away on international duty. Other than that, we've got a clean bill of health everywhere else. We've got Restes in goal, Calvo left back, Pataka right back, Escalada and Saliba in the middle, with Zaya Emery and Giardini in the midfield. Van Persie and Mahara out wide with Bruce in behind Nwanyeri. Let's submit the team. Let's go to the match and let's get into today's game. We'll also be able to have a look at what Paris Saint-Germain's run of form has been like. They've got Pep Guardiola as their manager. So it's not like they've got an issue with the manager. Oh, they, they may well do. But here's the PSG side and Bappi in there. Imagine he must be in his 30s now with 10 years, 10, 11 years into the future. And let's get on with it. Like I say, this is, these two games today, I think, are massive, massive tests for us. And the games that we've got coming up are huge for us as well. Like I say, Liverpool, Man City, Man United in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. But it's just, I think we've played something like 17 games this, this season so far, and we've won all 17 it's, I've never had a team in Football Manager that has just looked as good as this. You know, I'm absolutely loving it, but I'm just, I'm terrified it's going to come to a shuddering halt. And here we go, Mbappe with a corner for PSG, puts the ball into the box. We manage to clear our lines and Mahara picks up the loose ball, goes back to Pataka. He just gives it to Mendes. PSG have it to come back at us again. I mean, there's, Players in it, remember from normal effort. I mean, Doak, I'm sure he's a Liverpool youngster in real life. They've got, um, oh, what a save from Restes. 
we clear the ball and Mahara, I don't know why he just hit the ball upfield like that. He should have ran with it. But yeah, you look at some of their players. I mean, Antonio Silva, Tommy Asu, um, Manuel Ugarte. He, you know, they're all players that are in FM still at the moment. Right. That was a bit of a worrying first half because we, I don't actually recall a highlight for us in that first half. And the second half starts with PSG having the ball. That's a good ball outfield to Doak, who gets the cross into the box. Restes punches it away, and Bappe picks it up to Mendes. PSG are looking dangerous here. We need to make sure we don't let them score. And Doak's through, and it's 1-0 to PSG. It's going to stand. There's no offside being given. We're 1-0 down, away from home against PSG, and this could be our first defeat, our first dropped points of the season, not just our first defeat. Javi Simons, another real-life player at the moment. And look at Kenta Mahara, is having a terrible game. But I think we're having a poor game all round, actually. I'm going to bring Cal Durin in for Pataka. And then I'm very tempted to take off Kenta Mahara, but I know what he can do, so I don't really want to take him off. Giardini can come off for Thiago Silva. We've not even reached the hour mark, and I've... Oh, Alistair Bruce has just picked up a knock as well. Oh, this is not going well in this game. I mean, let's be honest. A 1-0 defeat away from home against PSG in the grand scheme of things is not a massively bad result or anything. But we're making our next two substitutions in some sort of hope that we might be able to do something. But... I don't recall us having a single highlight at their goal, to be honest. Here's Restes to Saliba. Will this be our highlight? Is this going to end up in a PSG chance? Maybe, even, oh, we've given it away. And they've scored. And we've not done that at all this season until now. Oh, it's hard to watch. Right, I'm... Um, actually going to take Kenta Mahara off because he's on the verge of hitting a 5.9 and I can't be seeing him hitting a 5.9. That just wouldn't be right. He has a free kick, saved by the keeper. He's gone out for a corner. Mahara will come off now. Sangu comes on in his place. Van Persie's picked up a knock. He's carrying an injury. We get the cross in, but it's cleared away. We've been awful. Quite honestly, we have been awful in this game. 2-0 to PSG, and we've not even troubled them. I mean, you've got to say on the law of averages, you're due a performance like that at some point. Van Persie still can't score even from four yards out. Right, Zay Emery with the corner. I mean, a consolation goal would be nice, I must admit. Gets a cross into the box. It comes out, Sangu picks up the loose ball to Durin, but that's hopelessly wide. I think it must have got deflection. Van Persie with a corner from the other side. We're not really that efficient at corners, I've got to say that much. Oh, we almost scored from that one, though. Cal Durin's quite useful at corners as well. He, he has had a couple of goals from corner kicks. This season, but I was thinking we were going to be getting goals from the likes of Saliba and Escalada, but we haven't. Right, there you go, folks. That is our first defeat of the season. And now we need to pick ourselves up because we have a game in just two days' time against Tottenham at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Van Persie is going to miss the game. And that was not particularly nice to watch. We are going to rest everyone for two days and I'll see you back here for the Tottenham game okay so here's the team for the game against Tottenham we've obviously got Van Persie out injured and Bakao Saka's also out injured and Dear Mande away in international duty so we brought uh, Schmetz in in the attacking midfield while moved Alistair Bruce out to the left so other than that it's unchanged we've got wrestlers in goal Calvo left back Pataka right back Escalada and Saliba in the middle. Zai Emery and Giardini in midfield. Bruce and Mahara out wide with Schmetz in behind Nwanyeri. Now, I'm telling myself we can't have two games both as bad as what the game was against PSG because 
pretty much nobody performed in that game. And that was the worst I've seen Kenta Mahara play as well. So let, Tottenham have been on an excellent run of form. They are going to be a real test. You know, PSG, I'm really disappointed we lost that game with how PSG have been performing this season. But this game against Tottenham, it's North London is ruling the Premier League at the moment, at least this season. And Tottenham are going to be very difficult. So here we go. Corner kick to Tottenham. Oof, save from Restes. We clear it out for another corner kick. Kuliszewski will take it. I mean, he's still playing as well. How old is he now? Bruce heads it clear. Robel picks up the loose ball. Comes at us. Kuliszewski and the highlight comes to nothing. Kuliszewski, he's getting involved with a lot, Kuliszewski, and that's a header over the bar. It was just played over as well. We didn't get, weren't a save or anything. Udogi, he's still playing for them. <clears throat> it's Kuliszewski. He seems to be pulling the strings a lot, Kuliszewski. We need to probably get on him a bit harder. But Tottenham with a patient build-up play. We're, we're not getting a look in again in this game. I'm, I'm getting a bit concerned because... This is looking like two poor performances. Zaya Emery just loses the ball in midfield. It's overpowered. And now they're through. Oh, and Restes saves it. It's not looking great for us, I have to admit. Even though we have got more of an XG without having any shots on target. But, yeah, Tottenham, like I say, second in the league, as you can see. And they are just... They are all over us in this first half. Again, not, not a single player for us is having a good game here. Uh, th this is one of the things I don't understand about FM is when you're in this amazing run of form and all of a sudden, it, it's not like it just goes down. It just plummets. And it's like, it's almost as if the game has decided your form is ending here. You know, there's no drop off. There's no inconsistency. You're just stopping now. And... It might be that we need to have a change of tactic or something like that to prevent this from becoming an, a normality. Right, we need to make some substitutions because we're doing nothing in this game. Kenta Mahal was the worst player on the pitch again. Right, Havertz can come on for Schmetz. I think we're going to bring... No, maybe not Thiago Silva. Escalado, I think I'm going to bring off, and Kuunda. But then again, no, he's... No, we're gonna do we're gonna do that. I'm gonna stop second guessing myself. We'll do that for now. But we, we're missing Pataka getting down that right hand side because he's usually a massive source of opportunities for us. But nothing is happening. Right, Sangu can come on for Alistair Bruce. And I'm gonna take Calvo off for Parisi. Let's see what he can do. I mean, again, going back to what I said in the previous game, in the grand scheme of things, a nil-nil draw away to Tottenham, who are second in the league and on an amazing run like we are, is not a bad result. It's just unusual for the way we've been playing this season. But, like I said, we're not going to win every single game. There's going to be a stop at some point. On oh, I thought, Sangu, Sangu, oh, it's a goal! Andre Sangu, his first of the season. We've had issues with him. He wants to leave the club because he's not playing regularly. He's not playing regularly because he's not been scoring when I've been giving him opportunities. Right, we're in the 91st minute. We're just going to make a substitution. Zai Emery can come off for Gonzalez. Tottenham have a free kick. Oh, I don't like this. Don't score Tottenham. Oh, they don't have a free kick. Lovely. And there you have it. We have beaten Tottenham Hotspur away from home in the Premier with our only shot on target. We've done to Tottenham what gets done to us on so many occasions. I'm delighted. It was a great result. I mean, it is a great result. I'm a bit concerned about the performance, I've got to admit. We've got Liverpool next, then Manchester City. This is going to be a tough run of games. We've got that loss in there, but we're still 100% in the league. The next time I'll come back, I think I want a bit of an easier time of it next time we come back. So we'll play some more games off camera. 
And we'll probably come back for Ipswich and Leeds, two teams that are very much down the bottom of the table that we should be winning. But you never know in football. So, yeah, I think we'll do that. I don't want to play Crystal Palace every time we play them. That's just going to get boring. I don't want to come back too soon because we need to get through the season at some point. And the second half of the season is when it all gets busy, busy sort of thing. So, yeah, we'll come back either for Brentford, Fulham or Ipswich, Leeds, around this area somewhere. And that will be in tomorrow's episode. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Please leave a like on the channel. Subscribe and turn on notifications and all that sort of stuff. We're six points clear of the Premier League after 12 games played.